we we kind of want to hear about you know the apps have been dominating your thinking this year so before you tell us a little bit more i mean you know you do give us a sense of what you've been seeing in the marketplace but you know there's so many apps out there um and and you know as an entrepreneur i guess and and as someone analyzing the market you know on customer on clients behalf it's sometimes all about you know where are the functional gaps so just give us an idea of what what you know what you've been looking at and seeing in the market and and how that steered you into a particular sure. area <clears throat> Yeah, so let me, because I guess I've come at this from two useful perspectives over the last 16 months. One has been in selecting where to focus for for my uh, next business. And the other is in consulting with a range of software or tech-based service businesses who are looking to kind of carve out an opportunity uh, within this ecosystem. So um, I've got um, I've got, got kind of six trends as part of this. The first cash flow we've already covered. Um, the other five are, you know, on the on the practice management side of things. So you saw the Go proposal kind of acquisition by Sage. You've got Practice Ignition announcing their kind of latest uh, fifty million dollar uh, fundraise yesterday. Um, and then uh, I've done some work with with Connect Four, which is founded by um, Andrew Jordan, um, who was formerly of, of kind of Fathom, um, building out their presence in in EMEA. Um, and that that's a kind of big trend for for me. The, you know, so I think it fits as part of the whole kind of onboarding. You know, which then flows through into the client experience. Um, you know. When-